The T29 is a hull down monster. So now that I've stopped procrastinating, I've decided to make a video in this thing. I'm very excited. I think this thing is absolutely fantastic. And when you get hull down with it, no one can stop you. Unless of course they YOLO you or something and then you're not hull down anymore. It's like when you're hull down, it's great. The only thing that can kill you is Artie. However, if you're not, this thing is really weak. So for a map like this, actually, on most maps, the thing about the T29 is in most maps in this game, it's a very decent tank to play because basically on every single map in the game, there's a position to get hull down in. Now, a lot of Russian tanks aren't really able to utilize those positions because they don't have the gun depression, but the T29, like, People often overemphasize how much gun, gun depression it has. It has enough to basically make every single map work. And so for a map like Serene Coast, we could actually go, if we wanted to, to the one line. I'm not, I don't want to. There's already, I'm not going to get clicked over there. And there's not enough mediums to justify it. But however, let's say they had no heavy tanks and no one was going to go to the heavy tank side of the map. You could totally make it work on C1 because ultimately that's a hull down fight. And that's exactly what this tank is designed for. So on this map, I've explained my justification. We're going to the 9-0 with the intent of getting hull down. And the reason we can go to the 9-0 in a heavy tank, it's very important you pick the sides you play well in a heavy tank, because if you're wrong, you don't have the mobility to just, like, peace out and go to another side of the map. However, on this map, we can teleport to the zero line, and that's where we're going to find the vast majority of the enemy team, considering they're all heavies. Incredible. Wasn't that quick? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's a shitty joke, but I appreciate it. Now, from this map, what you, what I want to do is I was thinking of playing this side, because that's kind of the side you can get held down on. The problem is that's going to expose me to their four TDs. Now, if we get shot at by their TDs, I should be somewhat hull down to them. So it's a lot safer to do this in this vehicle than most other- This guy's just YOLOing me. He's gonna hit me for 500. Okay, because I wasn't hull down there, right? Like, he pushed me and that made me not hull down. However, we can use our DPM to get a second shot into him, basically where his ammo rack should be, off the top of my head. And that's 600 damage, not for a great trade. However, we can continue to rock this position. That's a weird play from the KB3. Okay, put one into him. That was a really slim shot, and his position is going to make things very difficult for myself. However, we can engage this KV-3 without the TDs in the back shooting me. So the reason you wouldn't do what this KV-3 is doing is because I can just sit here, and now, for me to shoot him, none of their TDs... Oh, fuck. This is really not good. Dude, the scent is... Uh... We're getting in each other's way. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to stay held down. Hopefully the MX can make it work. What happened here is our Tigers went to the other side of the map. So I don't want to get this scent killed, but I need to help him if he's not going to repair his track. Okay. And so basically I'm going to try to fight these guys off. If these guys aren't flanking me, I don't really care. We can hold this angle a bit and I'm going to push the IS out to try to get hauled down behind him. And that's exactly what I need to do. Now from this case, I'd expect that 53 TP to flank me. But we can get hull down behind. Yeah, this is where the 53... I'm going to have to take the hit for the scent, I think, here. If I want the 53 to... Oh, fuck. That's an autoloader. What's happening? Okay, that guy got clicked. We needed that. Okay, so from here, this is really hard to deal with. We don't have the gun depression. So that's an example of the gun depression failing us. I'm the last one alive right here. However, we're in their base, which is exactly what we want. I do have support. That super hellcat really helped me out. This guy's pushing me, so I'm going to... He fired... Go for the track, which fucking missed. Okay. I just want to get one more shot off here. Good. That's a lot of damage, or that's enough damage. The Tiger P eventually gets me killed. However, we should win that game. This thing is so good. Like, the fact that I came out with that with that much damage was a huge result of that Super Hellcat nailing people who were one-shots who were going to kill me. However, that was fucking great. Let's go play another. Awesome. This is exactly the map that this tank was designed for. We're going to be able to teleport over to C2, and basically from there, we're going to get hull down against everyone and see how much damage we can wreck up. Now, my team is actually trash. I'm in the T29, which is pretty much the slowest tank on this like team and i'm ahead of the tiger 2 and the amx which are both faster than me downhill so this fucking blows <laughs> and everyone else is camping so i'm gonna poke here i'm not really gonna get hull down over here and this is the part where because my team has been so passive it's actually gonna hurt us quite a bit so you can see for me to poke over here i don't have the, that's an e25 let's hit him Okay, so for me to like play this, I actually don't have enough gun depression to deal with this and with this and that's the problem The other problem is normally if you're losing this flank You can trust people back here to put shots But if you take a look at these guys, there's no one in a position to actually support me So this makes the the fight that we're in really challenging We're gonna have to nail all of our shots right here and hope for the best I'm okay with this because we have the idiot tiger 
who took forever to get into this position helping kind of. We're gonna have to focus down tanks though for this to work honestly and what I have to do in this situation is I can't really use my gun depression. I have to force the enemy team to crest on us. Okay. And that's going to give my teammates shots, hopefully. So, what I'm doing is I'm going to take a hit from that tiger for sure. That's fine. That's just a, the result of this flank being the way it is. And now, because we've not, we're not in a crossfire, all the enemies are going to be to our side, I'm going to start being more aggressive here. And the reason I can do that, like I said, I'm not pushing into a crossfire. So, I'm going to pop over to the right. I feel more comfortable doing that. There's no arty that I have to worry about. However, what I can do from the right is I can get above a lot of these guys. Now I'm watching the map to make sure there's nothing to my right, of course. That's something you'd have to do in this play. However, you can see in this situation, I now have the gun depression to deal with these guys because I'm not cresting over this ridge right here. So because they've left every... Oh, that's an IS-3. You see the problem? Now I have to deal with that IS-3. However, I don't think the IS-3 has shots. We'll put a quick shot like so, look towards the IS-3, and that IS-3 had shots in me. So I had to definitely have to give that up. From here, we're going to have to focus on this IS-3. So what I'm doing is I'm pre-aiming. I don't have the turret rotation to really make this work. And this guy will shoot me underneath the E-25 if he gets the chance. And you can see there is that gap there. The problem is I don't really... Dude, it's really frustrating how passive my team's being. I want to kill this guy because he's actually playing well. So put a shot into him, make him a one-shot, watch the map for that IS-3, keep the turret pointed towards him. This IS-3 is probably just going to YOLO me and get me killed. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant play from the enemy IS-3 right there, managed to keep me alive. I really appreciate his generosity, and from here I'm going to be very aggressive against this IS-3. I need him to fall back so I don't die. And basically from here, that's how we do that. So what I'm doing is I'm making sure he has no support as well. I don't really think any vehicle on his team apart from the guard could kill me and he's spotted in the south this type 64 <laughs> is making a bold play against the is3 the vk is dead perfect and now we can use our gun depression against this guy and you can see the aggression oh fuck i'm getting pushed out i regret oh he missed okay perfect okay so now we have to be really aggressive to get as much damage as we can perfect good that one goes in hopefully he dies before i die i'm gonna push forward to try to stay alive <laughs> shit Okay, okay, good. We just made it out of that. Okay, we're up to 2600 damage. <laughs> I did not. Do I feel like I played very decently in that context. However, that IS-3 should have killed me. If he had just reloaded half a second sooner, I would have been dead. Now, we're going to teleport up to here and try to get as much damage as we can before the end of this game. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that didn't work. We didn't we didn't get any extra damage out of this. Unless the super Hell Hellcat kills himself, which he isn't. He's dead. We're not going to get any more damage. Still, that was 2,600 damage all in a small corner of the map. This thing's absolutely fantastic. I'm really excited to see how we did compared to the rest of my team. All right, so that was a Mastery Badge second class. We came first place on the team as a tier 7 vehicle in a tier 8 game. The Tiger 2 did 2,619 damage, so we just edged him out. Most Everyone got better XP than I, it seems, but still, we did very well. It made 8k credits. Like, I think that was a great game. Really enjoy this vehicle. Currently, we're winning 88% in the T29, which means I think we have two losses. Let's see, 16 games played. How many wins? Yeah, I think it's 14 wins. I don't see the number here, but we did very, we're doing very well in this vehicle. Uh, I think we're going to get out of it very quickly. Anyways, I hope uh, this inspires you to play your T29. I hope it gives you some advice on this vehicle. Like I said, the way I play, it's not about finding hull down positions. It's about finding a position where I can be hull down. And then, you know, I don't just camp there. That's fucking retarded. Like, you have to be an active player if you're in a heavy tank, because your job is to make sure your team wins the flank. You can't just, like, find a position that would work in the ideal circumstances and then hope it works. You actually have to be fighting. You actually have to be trying to win the game. And that's exactly what the T29 is fantastic at. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, be sure to hit the like and the subscribe button, and I hope to see you around. Later, guys. Bye-bye.